Ronaldo. Is it June or is it September right now? Okay, well, it's a few hours later. I've come back to um, evaluate things and this is ridiculous. I'm sorry. It's fucking September 8th and we gotta grind 42 squads for this fucking Ronaldo card. Are you kidding me? 42 squad Ronaldo or go for this Nkunku card who's 192 rated squad with that card. They're only doing this because they know it's Ronaldo. It's a fan favorite, obviously. And they're, they're, they know you're gonna wanna do anything to get this card. And they just can't help themselves. Even in September, they're like, uh, yeah, He's gonna be 5 million coins. I mean, what? Like, what are we doing here? This is the problem with them doing really well with certain things over the course of the summer is that they just can't help themselves. They have to still make things way more difficult than your hardcore player base that are playing the game with two weeks to go deserve. Like, I don't know, man. We got other stuff to talk about today. We got EAFC stuff to talk about. And 42 squads for an SBC is just hilarious as is. Um, But okay, if you guys don't know, if you're not playing the game too much right now, there actually is kind of um, a preseason objective or pack that's kind of worth it right now you complete all of these scoring four separate with english spain france netherlands or portugal players and you actually can do two of these at once for some of them you're gonna get an 82 times 10 pack next year which i feel like is gonna be really good for the start of the game i'm not sure if it'll be like at the very start of the game to get that pack but it's actually pretty good and then the new era two you also can get these so just hop on every day and get these because you might as well and i know you don't want to probably play fifa but it's gonna take like no time at all to get an 82 times 10 but you're gonna be thankful you do that for next year if not in the game it kind of is worth it right now to actually do that preseason objective okay we actually have literally all of the heroes leaked right now and all their stats for fc24 so we're gonna go and look at that in a sec but i thought this was a very interesting tweet from haber here and it's september 4th 2021 fifa 21 premium 99 ronaldo sbc 14 squads for him as you can see right there fifa 23 premium footies 99 ronaldo sbc 42. It simply just makes no sense. They can't reward their hardcore player base for playing the game with two weeks ago. Most people will literally not complete that SBC in time. Like, they actually won't complete it in two weeks. So, like, it's that crazy. We have all the new heroes with their dynamics and everything. So, let's go take a look at this because this is going to be very interesting to look at. A couple of absolute bangers in here and some that we've already seen. We already saw Viali. We saw Tevez. We saw Company. They look fantastic. Wesley Schneider, though, his official stats we've not seen and they look great. 81 pace, 84 shooting, 90 passing, 86 dribbling, Probably has five star weak foot as well. Very excited to use him. Lizarazu, 87 pace, along with 83 defending and 82 physical. Very nice France left back. Paolo Futre, 93 pace, 93 dribbling. That is going to be awesome. I think we might have seen his stats before, but that's his official card there. We got Kessler, 81 pace, 88 passing, uh, 86 dribbling. Very nice center mid there. Lipmanin, we kind of know what Lipmanin looks like. Nothing too crazy at all. Dimitar Berbatov looks okay with the 80 pace, but he's not really that great. Rui Costa, we kind of know what Rui Costa looks like once again. Okay, but nothing too crazy. We got Steve McManaman, who's 89 pace, 77 shot, eh, 84 passing, 87 dribbling. More of a kind of a pace merchant there. Needs a dead eye. Ramirez is God. Kanu is 79 pace, 85 shot, but he's like six foot seven. So we'll at least have that. His physical is a little bit low for somebody who's six foot seven though. We got Scott, 86 pace, 84 defending. Nice English left back there for sure. Giuli, 88 pace, 83 shot, 85 dribbling. Very nice right mid from France. John Arnarisa. All 80s in the whole gang as a left back. Very nice. If you can play him at center mid, that would be crazy. It'll be very expensive if you can, but I understand it's kind of a shot in the dark. Rosicki actually looks okay. 83 pace, 86 passing, 88 dribbling. Solid cam for the start of the game for sure. Bompastor also has a hull gang apart from physical. So another nice like attacking fullback there for sure. Then we got Demarcus Beasley as well, who's kind of a pace merchant with decent dribbling, but nothing too much there. If you want to go look at these further, you can pause the video. But um, yeah, some very nice cards in there. Those are just all the new ones we could could see some stat changes in the other ones. You know, we don't have anything confirmed yet. Probably until the database comes out. We got Borussia Dortmund ratings. And it's a couple ratings in here that people were kind of going crazy over. Well, cards, I should say. Cole up to an 87, which is crazy. Yeah, great bonus like a goalkeeper. Sule, 73 pace now for Sule. He's going to be so annoying to play against right away. Sule is a beast in FIFA, if you guys don't know. Julian Brandt uh, looks like an okay starter can. Nothing too much there. Marco Royce, unfortunately, 65 pace. It is the end of at least gold Marco Royce being good in FIFA, probably. Probably. They're gonna need a promo card for Royce for sure. We got Schlotterbeck though, 78 pace. That's very nice. Very good starter card there. Emre Chan looks like a very good starter card as well. 79 pace, 87 physical, 82 defending. Very good.
very good center mid. Sebastian Hilaire, meh, nothing too great, really. Mats Hummels, 83 pace, we know that, but these two right here, Mullen and Adeyemi, we saw Adeyemi's card already, 96 pace is ridiculous, but Mullen has 89 pace, 80 shooting, and 85 dribbling. He might actually even be better than Adeyemi because of his boosts in other areas, right? And that's going to be a sick strike force, obviously getting Dortmund linked. We know players from the same club are very important to link. Full crew looks like straight ass, and other players here really to look at. We have Mukoko, who's 77, who doesn't look great, but looks okay. Like, for probably an Evolutions player there, but that's Dortmund, so that's pretty cool to see. We do have Ebrox Stadium and Celtic Park confirmed for EAFC 24 as well, so we do got a couple new stadiums, obviously Rangers and Celtic there, so if you're from Scotland, you're probably gonna be very happy about this, that both those stadiums will be in the game next year. If you guys did not see this, unfortunately, Aryan Robin is confirmed to not be in the game this year. Hopefully next year, he's one of the cards that was in the testing stages we did not see. I think like Sergio Aguero, a couple cards that were very kind of like highly touted that we really were hoping were going to be icons or heroes. Unfortunately, did not make the cut. For whatever reason, licensing, I'm sure, was probably the reason. A disagreement over the money or whatever. Another year of no Iron Robin, though, and that sucks. I was really hoping this would be the year where we get Robin and Ribery back. Well, I mean, we had Ribery this year, but nothing too insane. Besides that, like, very first promo card. Yeah, Robin is, was so good in FIFA. If you guys didn't get to use him, if you're like a newer FIFA fan, it sucks that we haven't been able to use Iron Robin because he had great animations. The dribbling animations were so good with him. And uh, another year, unfortunately, without him in the game. Hopefully next year him and Aguero will be there. That would be pretty awesome. We do have player ratings confirmed to be coming soon. Official ratings. We've already seen a ton of the ratings, so it's not anything really surprising at all. There might be a few cards, obviously, that we missed in some other teams that are not that popular. We'll go and make sure we cover all of that before the game even comes out. But we do also have new icon players also announced in the next few days. So not too long till we get our first icon announcements, which is pretty awesome. Because we obviously have our confirmed icons being um, Zico and then I think a couple women's icons have been confirmed. But obviously, there could be more right so it'd be pretty exciting if we got some more in there <laughs> oh my god bro look at this image how did they think this was it? I did 5.2 million coins, 42 SBCs. I don't give a shit how good this card is, okay? I do not give a shit. I was really hoping, said this earlier, that they would give us an option at the end of the year to kind of like pick one player that you want for free. Like any footies card you want, just pick them for free. Like who cares, right? Literally in two weeks, no one will be playing this game anymore. Let us have fun for that. Instead, we get this, okay? I can't even fathom what they were thinking with this one and how long this is gonna take. Even your app, like your most hardcore players is going to take hours and hours and hours and hours to try and craft is it worth it and cuckoo's 192 squad like how is this the idea all right you know what we're gonna do just i, I by the way i love this this pack is 100,000 coins right and it's actually literally a 50k pack it says contains 12 rare gold players in addition to a rare players pack so it's just the exact same coin value yet we still are getting the, the discount fifa point value guys so pretty much drop your fifa points now right why not this is a smashing value you guys need to open this pack Look at this, how good this pack is going to be. $10 for this, by the way. $10. Guys, look on the bright side. We get another one. What can we get in this one? It's a blue. Oh my God, it was worth it. It was so worth it. Ivory Coast. Yaya Toure. Um, okay, there you go. Ha have a good rest of your day. I love you, Austin. It's very, very